Hello, my name is Mina Morish and I'm part of the AWS Solutions Architect team. In this video, I wanted to walk you through the AWS IoT Immersion Day Workshop. This is a publicly accessible workshop and the link for that is included in the description of this video. You are also able to access the workshop by searching with the keywords IoT Immersion Day from the workshops.aws website. The workshop is a collection of labs designed to take the user on a journey starting from establishing a connection between their IoT enabled device and AWS IoT core through to creating dashboards using tools such as um, AWS Managed Grafana or QuickSight. So the user will learn not only how to use the core IoT services, but also the relevant downstream services such as Timestream, Grafana and QuickSight. Uh, it's aimed at people uh, who are both beginners for AWS IoT, uh, but also intermediate level uh, users for IoT itself. During this video, I will take you through uh, the workshop itself and I'll do a quick demo of the first lab, which is creating a connection between your IoT enabled device and AWS IoT core. What we have here is the architecture of the solution we will be deploying as part of lab 1.1 under AWS IoT Core within the IoT Immersion Day Workshop. I have decided to use the AWS IoT SDK for Python version 2, but there are also instructions to use them for AWS IoT uh, SDK for Python version 1. As you can see here, the first thing we will do is deploy a simulated device. Uh, we will deploy and run this simulated device from Cloud9. Cloud9 is AWS's cloud-based integrated developer environment. We will then create a thing on AWS IoT Core. A thing is a virtual copy of your IoT enabled device. So in the real world, this will be a virtual copy of your IoT enabled hardware device. Once we create a thing, uh, we will create policies and generate and attach certificates to those policies. These policies will then be attached to the thing. This will set the permission boundaries of the IoT enabled device of what it can and cannot do on AWS IoT Core. Once we have established this connection, we will test this connection by publishing messages over MQTT protocol from the simulated device to a particular topic. We will then test if the messages are being received by this particular topic using a component called MQTT test client. Within MQTT test client, we, we will be able to see the messages published by the simulated device itself. I will now walk you through how to get started um, to set up the workshop and then uh, show a hands on demo of lab 1.1. Before we get started on lab 1.1, um, I would like to walk you through how to set up the environment for the workshop itself. So to do that, click on the link for the workshop and you will be na navigated to this landing page. Um, from this landing page on the left, uh, click on in your own account because you will be deploying the environment from your own AWS accounts. So one of the prerequisite for the workshop is that you have your own active AWS account. If you haven't got one, it's free to register um, don't worry about the resources created within this workshop. Uh, once we, uh, once you're done with the labs, you can delete the cloud formation template deployed, which will automatically roll back all the resources created. So to set up the environment, we need the cloud formation template, which is accessible from this link below. So click on download the template that will download the YAML template for the environment itself. Log into your AWS management console. I'm already logged into mine and search for CloudFormation. CloudFormation is the AWS's infrastructure as code service um, from which we will upload the YAML template we just downloaded. So click on create stack with new resources because we want to create new resources. We will be uploading a template file. So click on that and choose file and select the um, YAML file that you just downloaded and click on next. Give it a name. So I'll say IoT Immersion Day. Uh, leave the rest of the values as default. Click on next. 
leave the values as default on this page, click on next. Acknowledge that um, CloudFormation will create IAM roles and also um, enable the ability for auto expand and click on submit. So we're now, uh, we've now deployed the CloudFormation template to set up the environment. Uh, before we go to uh, Lab 1.1, let's go back to the workshop page and I'll show you where Lab 1.1 is. So under AWS IoT Core, I'm going to do a uh, Python version 2. So click on the second link if you're doing the same and click on lab 1.1. This is the lab where you will be setting up an IoT enabled device and establishing the connection between the IoT enabled device and IoT core. There's step by step instructions on here. So please don't worry about keeping up with me on, on the video itself. The video is more uh, for a guidance. So the first thing we will do, um, as you can see here, is we'll create our thing, the security policies and certificates. To do this, let's go back to the Cloud um, Management Console and search for IoT Core. Select IoT Core. And this is where we will be creating a thing. So on the left-hand side menu, uh, click on all devices and then things. So we're going to be creating a single thing. So click on create things create a single thing and follow the page. Uh, give it a name. Again, I'll call it IoT Immersion Day. We're not going to create a device shadow at this point in time. So leave the option selected as default. Uh, click on next. Uh, we will be generating new certificates for device certificate, private key um, and public key. So leave the option selected. Click on next. And this is where uh, we will be creating the policy to attach to the certificate so that when you uh, tag the certificate to your IoT device, uh, by virtue of having the certificate, the policies attached to the certificate are applied to the device. So click on create policy. Uh, give it a name. So I'll call it IoT Immersion Tank. And for the policy document itself, click on JSON. And to get the document that needs to go in there, go back to the workshop page and scroll down where you will be able to see the code for the policy document. Copy that, come back to the policy page and paste it. So what we are creating here is a very, very liberal uh, policy for the IoT device. Uh, and that is OK because this is for demonstration purposes only. But in real time, this policy will only grant least privilege of access to the device. So as you can see here, it allows the actions of publishing, subscribing, connecting and receiving messages within the IoT um, service of AWS. And it is able to do so across all the devices. So create the policy. And now we have to attach the policy we've created to the device. So go back to the thing we are creating, select the policy that you've just created and click on create thing. Um, what you're seeing here is the list of certificates we need to attach to the device that you will be creating. Uh, once you navigate off this page, there won't be any option to be able to get to this page again. So please make sure that you download them and save them in an accessible location later. Um, so I'm downloading the device certificate, the public key file, the private key file, and one of the root CA files. I click on done. So, so to sum up so far, what we have done is we have deployed the environment uh, to run the labs from, which will also include uh, the code for simulated IoT device. We have created a thing on AWS IoT Core and attached a policy to the thing by means of certificates, which has enabled us to establish permission boundaries for the thing on AWS IoT. Now, let's go back to our CloudFormation template and check the status of our environment deployment. To do that, type CloudFormation in the search box, select CloudFormation, and let's look at the status of our CloudFormation template. As you can see here, 
um, it's uh, create in progress and it does take some time for cloud formation template to finish uh, deploying the environment itself so i have already deployed a, a cloud formation template which is exactly the same um, which is available here so once your cloud formation template has completed is completed click on it and you will be able to see a number of tabs here uh, from these tabs select output and you will be able to see the cloud9 url uh, click on the cloud9 url and you will be directed to the ide um, that has the code you require as well um, once here the first thing we will do is install the sdk we require so to do that it will be pip free install aws iot sdk now i've already implemented the package uh, in my environment before so it's saying requirements already satisfied uh, but when you're doing it for the first time it will deploy all the packages uh, required within the environment itself uh, now the next thing to do would be to upload the certificates that we downloaded previously alongside your device itself so as you can see here i have uploaded the um, root ca certificate which is amazon root ca one.pem i've also uplo uploaded the device certificate which is device certificate.pem and the private key uh, which is under the name of private key.pem they're all in the same folder as my um, virtual device itself so now that's done let's look at what the virtual device itself looks like so before we do that let's go back to the workshop page to copy the code required for the virtual device so if you scroll down um, copy this code which is the code for the virtual device itself go back to your uh, cloud9 environment and replace the code that's there with the code that you just copied now what you have copied is a generic uh, simulated device code how do we attach uh, or rather make this device your device and we do that by means of the certificate so we've already uploaded the certificates to the same folder as the device how can we link it to 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 this particular uh, code itself so to do that we need to change a few environment variables and the first one is what is called the endpoint to get your endpoint go back to aws management console search for iot core from the search box and from the left hand side uh, select settings and from settings you'll be able to see the endpoint uh, details so copy the endpoint details go back to your device code itself and replace the value generic value there is under that variable with the value that you just copied so now you are directing uh, the device to communicate with your endpoint on aws iot core um, give it a thing name i will use the thing name that i created previously so that was ratchet and now direct it to the certificates that you just uploaded so the device certificate for me is called device certificate so i will change the name of the certificate there to device certificate private key is private key but this one's got a capital k so i'll replace it with lowercase and then finally the root ca which is amazon root ca1 which is the same as my file name so now that's done save it um, go back to the terminal and what we're going to do now is we're going to deploy the device to enable it to send messages to a specific IoT topic so to do that type python ratchet.py ratchet is the name of my uh, device uh, replace well sorry ratchet is the name of the python file here um, and deploy the code we connect it to it and as you can see it is now publishing messages under this particular topic so to test it copy the topic go back to um, IoT core and from the left hand menu select MQTT test client and under subscribe to a topic you can paste the topic that you just copied and click on subscribe so as you can see here uh, we're getting messages from the device itself 
if you want you can also search for it with a wild card which will be um hash subscribe I'm already subscribed to it so let's click on my subscription and you can see the messages under that as well which is with the current timestamp um, so now we have created an IoT device established connection with IoT core set permission boundaries for the particular device we created and we've been able to publish topic from the device to IoT core and we have tested the successful receiving of those messages onto AWS IoT Core. So that brings us to a completion of Lab 1.1. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there are more labs for you to try uh, to create device shadows and establish the last will and temp um, testament and also um, perform the labs with other IoT uh, services like Greengrass and device management. I um, hope that video was useful. Uh, please feel free to share your feedback on the comments below.